This video is brought to you by Cybersecurity Community R4P3.net. Today we are going to practice with Arachne Scanner. So if you have any experience with Arachne Scanner, you should probably stop watching this. But if you would like to see how to set up Arachne Scanner on Windows, go ahead and keep watching. I'm going to go ahead and get this right here. I'll save the file. As soon as this file is saved, I'm going to launch it. It's going to extract itself to a location. And there we go. It's beginning the extraction process. As soon as the files are extracted, I'm going to open up my downloads folder and I should see the Arachne folder and it should be done in a little bit. I'm going to pause the video. Just kind of a pro tip of sorts, if you click anywhere inside of a console, uh, you need to tap the enter key to get out of your select mode, <laughs> otherwise it just stops. I don't know, it's stupid. But anyways, I'm gonna pause it again until it's finished extracting the archive. All right, so that is all set. What we're gonna do is come in here and find this web mat. We're gonna right click it, click run as administrator. I just go ahead and tap yes there. It's gonna take just a little bit of time here to launch this bat, but as soon as it does, we should see that it's listening on the local host. It's right there, so 9292. So then if we go over here and do local host 9292, there we go, default information is uh, here let me pull it up quick all right so it is admin at admin dot admin the password is administrator all lowercase there you go from there you can go in and schedule a new scan or, or i mean create a new scan or schedule a scan you can edit your account change your password of course you need to put administrator again yeah there's there's a whole bunch of great stuff you can do with Arachne. So definitely recommend this scanner. It's a great website application or yeah, it's, I'm sorry. It's a web application security scanner framework and it is damn good. So I do recommend it. It's good stuff.